Notice you were hitting the ball uh, poolside a little bit more last couple of days, and uh, you know Clint said you were looking to get a little bit of lift on your swing this offseason. What did you do to get that? Yeah, no, I'm trying um, hitting more hard, more in the to the left side, pull a little bit. I'm working in my, my, my body. I want to be more strong, and, and you can see what's going to happen in the, in the BP, and I'm continue working that. And you said you talked with Marlon Bird about a change that he made in the past. How did that conversation go? Oh, yeah, good. You know, he, he got the same problem with me. And he figured out, and he, he, he now is one of the best here in the, in the big league. It's why he, he changed everything. So I'm trying. I'm trying to do the same thing to him. Did you, what type of changes did you make? No, it's the swing, you know, it's the same approach. It's a little bit hitting the ball in the front to, to, to find the back speed. So, you know, it, it's a, it's a, right now I, I do that. Did you work with anybody this offseason on that? No, I'm, I'm with a couple guys, my friends, working and come here early. I'm coming for the mini camp and I'm working with Branson. And, you know, I'm feel good. Is so, there uh, still more to work with? Or are you uh, feeling comfortable with the adjustments? No, no, yeah, I feel comfortable. In the beginning, I feel a little different because I changed everything, you know. But now I feel comfortable. And you know, and see what happens. Tabadet's been hitting for uh, some poolside power the last couple of days. He didn't really do much of that uh, last year in the majors, was more of an opposite field hitter. Was that an approach you guys wanted him to take uh, coming into this year? Not so much pull side, but we look for an opportunity to, to find a way for him to create a little bit of drive in his swing, more drive. It was always a forward down stroke, long line, low line drives. A lot of ground balls have come off his bat the four years, minor league career. If you look at the percentages, the ground balls he puts in play. We actually talked uh, with him about hooking up with Marlon Bird. Marlon Bird made an adjustment a few years ago. He went down to Mexico, recreated a swing, incorporated, I don't like to use the word lift, but actually some leverage to his swing. And we talked to Joe about increasing some, putting some more leverage, a little bit of leverage into his swing. He's worked very hard with that throughout the winter. He brought in a mini camp. I think the reps are just giving him a better feel for it. Um, and he's, he's shown a liking for it and understands the reason why we're asking it from him. Did he work with Marlon over the winter or back when Marlon was here? He, it was not when Marlon was here. It was a conversation more so anything than else. Didn't work with anybody, but just the mindset, you know, why you did it, what adjustments can be made to do it, where it's not just an uppercut or, an, or just a chaotic hack. There's, there's just a little bit of leverage put in your swing where instead of thinking about you're hitting the ball here, you're hitting the ball maybe with a, a marginal angle rather than this way, completely this way, just with a little bit of, of, of leverage to it. It's something that takes time. He's getting his reps in the cage, whether it be spin balls, whether it be fastballs. Um, we just think there's a little bit more there, and why not at this point in time see if he can incorporate that in his game as well. Clint and Jose both talked about how Tabata is trying to get a little bit more leverage uh, you know, mm -hmm. with his swing. I noticed, is he also staying a little bit more upright, getting a little bit more extension now too? Well, I mean... The uprightness, as long as he's in his legs, um, that's the biggest thing is being athletic in his base, to be able to hold his backside, to be able to let that barrel work. So it's more of a mental adjustment than it is a physical adjustment of how we're approaching it. It's not physically trying to drop, the backside drop and get the barrel underneath it. The, the posture stays the same, strong and tall on the backside, just letting the barrel work underneath and get the ball in the air. How does he look so far you know, with the new approach to you? It looks really good. I mean, he's, been, he's driving some balls, he's going gap to gap. Uh, he's got leverage, uh, he's showing some strength with it, but he's also showing approach with it. Uh, execution game that we run every day, he, he finished second this year overall. So, so again, the mentality doesn't change, it's just a different, just a different mentality of the, of the mindset of what the barrel wants to do. And he's, uh, he's starting to pull the ball a little bit more with this new approach. Is that you know a result of the approach, or is that you know is that something different? Well, it's it's he's always had the ability to pull the ball, but he's just been so dominant right center of what we really teach. He's been so dominant of staying on top of the ball to drive to right center that the mentality will free him up. It frees his hands up, frees his barrel up, that he, it can it can work to all fields. So, and and it just frees him to the point where I don't have to be. 
diligent to one side, I can work the ball all the way around the all the way around the outfield. And and like I say, the thing about we're talking about get the get the ball in the outfield grass. And he's done a really good job of, of mentality wise of letting that barrel work underneath. You guys preach, uh, you know, opposite field, opposite center. Uh, mm -hmm. But is he, you know, is the approach with him just going to be all fields, or is it it's, just going to be center? It's going to stay middle. It's going to stay middle, just to keep in the mindset of not trying to. Uh, get internal rotation and trying to fight the ball, block the ball off the right center. It's just letting the barrel work to the ball, uh, letting it work underneath the ball. But again, it, his mentality is going to be in the middle of the field, gap to gap. Happens to get the, get the barrel to the ball, pull side, great. But uh, mentality is still staying in the middle of the field.